<laughs> so good. So, like I told you guys, I'm in the uh, I'm in the mortgage industry, and uh, it's uh, it's a struggle. And you know, the reason why it's such a struggle is because we had a little thing back in the day called stated income. And, uh, I don't know why I failed. To be honest with you, um, Americans are so honest. I. Uh, Stated income was basically what it sounds like. For those of you that don't know, I'll try to explain it a little bit. Stated income is that I ask you what you make, you tell me, and you get a loan. Uh, okay, maybe you guys don't get it. Okay, stated income is like if you get pulled over being clocked doing 90, the cop shows you the radar gun and then he asks you, Do you know how fast you're going? And you go, 50. He goes, yes, you were. Yes, you were. And I and this darn thing's broken. Walk through. I, I apologize. Totally fine. Not a problem! Get out of here! Actually, it's a little light on state income. State income is like when you're driving past the cop, you throw the empty whiskey bottle at his head, standing straight up in your convertible, butt naked, letting your monkey drive. And then telling the officer you're sober. <laughs> Stated income is like when you go to the carnival and you're standing right next to that sign that's like, gotta be this tall to ride, but you're seven years old. The guy with one tooth goes, enjoy the ride. <laughs> Stated. Stated income is like saying that um, Iraq has weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Stated income is like the KKK voting for Barack Obama. <laughs> Stated income, <laughs> that's, that's my favorite one. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. It's cool <laughs> that you can go into an audience and know everybody by name as they laugh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. So, <laughs> stated income is uh, it's like saying it wasn't you and there's only two people in the elevator. Um, <laughs> He just got that. Well, folks. <laughs> Round of applause for our business banking officer. <laughs> Finally, stated income is like telling you guys I work out. <laughs> I just don't have proof. I do it. It's just not working out. Have you guys noticed that the people that are the, that are the most afraid of identity theft don't really need to be worried? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an Aunt Susan, and I gotta watch my names because my Aunt Cat's in the audience. So I've got an, I've got an Aunt Susan, and um, she's got like maybe twelve dollars in her account. She's she's got more dings in her credit than a Budweiser company car, and she still pays like twenty dollars a month so that no one will take the twelve that she has, you know. And uh, so. It, I think she has it all wrong. I think she should take the $20 and put it in the classifieds and make it like a contest. And just put your social security number in the classified and just have it say, whoever can find me alone, I'll give you $20. So, so yeah, you know, the, the mortgage industry is, is difficult, but I, I don't want you guys to feel sorry for me. Every single time I tell someone what I do for a living, it's kind of like I walked out of a wake. They're like... They're like, they're like, hi, I'm uh, such and such, and what do you do for a living? I, uh, I'm, I'm in the mortgage industry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. This is so fucking true. Sorry for me. I'm, I'm very, very successful. Very successful compared to the best pager salesman in the business. 